In this video, we're going to use the pathologic component of the Pathway Tools software to convert an annotated genome into a pathway genome database that contains both the genome information and predicted metabolic pathways and operons for the organism. Once we've created a pathway genome database, we can then use other components of pathway tools, such as the navigator, editors, and Metaflux. Our first step is to run the create new database command within Pathologic, where we enter a identifier for the project name. We're going to build a database for Perchlorococcus marinus. We then enter the NCBI taxonomy ID for this organism. And software goes ahead and copies the class hierarchy ontology into the database. It then asks us if we want to enter the replicon editor, which we do. And in the replicon editor, we'll enter a name for the chromosome. We'll record it as circular. And we're going to browse to the GenBank file containing the genome. And it then creates a small data file. We're then going to run the automated build command in Pathway Tools, which will prompt us for several parameter values, but we can take all the default values. And it's now reading the GenBank file, parsing the GenBank file. It's creating gene and protein objects for every gene in the input file. It's now considering every enzyme name in the genome and matching it against the enzyme names and EC numbers in the Metacyte database and using that information to infer the reactions and the metabolic pathways present in the organism. It computes a number of different reports listing the predicted pathways. So the user can easily review the predicted pathway set and assess look for any false positives. It's now pruning out pathways that don't have sufficient evidence to keep them. And it's now finished the pathway inference and it's now creating the cellular overview diagram, the full metabolic network diagram for the organism that's created with pathway layout algorithms that first lay out each individual pathway and then lay out the pathways in related clusters relative to one another. This whole process takes about 2 minutes and 20 seconds for this genome. Okay, it's now finished building the database and doing the pathway inference. We're now going to run another inference procedure which is to predict operons. That only takes about five seconds, so we're done predicting operons. Now what we're going to do next is to download an existing database from the Biosite collection into our local copy of Pathway Tools using what's called the PGDB registry. So we're going to go into the Browse PGDB registry tool. And this tool will prompt us for the name of the organism that we want to download. And let's look at there are 188 mycoplasma genomes. We're going to take this one right here, select it, and download it. We need to click through a license agreement here. And it's now going to download the, this pathway database from the PGDB registry. All right, it's now unpacked that archive, put all the files in the appropriate directory. And we can exit from this tool. And we now see the genome we downloaded is right here in the, in the listing of databases in the Pathway Tools entry page. So we can now use the navigator to open that database and search it, browse it, etc., which is the topic of additional videos.